Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to the Forest Cup Challenge. Why well, I try to run as far as possible from spawn without sleeping or going to the ground. None of that safe stuff, only the dangerous, the frightening, the squids. Yes, this is what we are doing. So let us keep on with our journey. 58,000 blocks out already. I'm thinking about... It's been a while since I've done this, but I am thinking about maybe doing a stream. Maybe not tonight. Not that this is going up. Maybe... Tomorrow night? But don't absolutely quote me on that. Don't don't quote me. Don't, don't ever quote me. Don't quote Shook. Quote people who ain't Shook. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Think about doing that. Let's keep running. I definitely want to run away from... That's pretty cool. Huh. That actually looks pretty cool up there. Hey, which I bet you wish you uh, had some pork chops, man. Yummy, yummy pork chops. Huh. But yeah, I've never seen a. I don't think I've ever seen a witch hut just up there, flat out on a hill. Pretty cool, actually. Hmm. Oh well, we've seen it. It's gone. We'll never see it again. So, I hope you look good. Nothing really in particular to talk about. As I talked about in the last episode or two, uh, I was going to start streaming. Well, this week I haven't done much of it. I'm going to have to, though. I can't let myself get out of the habit, otherwise it'll be weeks before I stream again, so I'm gonna have to. Uh, I did stream... Ooh. Ooh! Too bad, can't go down there. Uh, I'm going to have to, uh, Otherwise, I'll wind up going weeks without doing it. So, I'm gonna have to stream sometime. I might stream some late night Batman. I don't know. I don't play Batman in a week. I'm gonna really suck when I play it again. That's for sure. Oh, lag. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that to show. Let's kill, some, let's kill some pigs. Oh, that's strange that it takes uh, two hits with a stone sword to kill a pig, and it takes two hits from a diamond sword to kill a pig. Very strange. Okay, well that did it. I might, might be a critical hit. Well, he can live. You will live today, pig. You you ran away to where I didn't want to chase you. <laughs> Gotta keep running. We're gonna pass 60k today. I'll do. Anyway. So. That's quite a ways away. From spawn. I think that's probably further than most people have been. I know it's further than I've ever been. I think the furthest I've ever been is about 20,000. That's because uh, when the 1.7 update happened, I pretty much did this exact same thing. <laughs> Except I didn't. It wasn't a, a video or nothing, it was just, I decided, I'm just going to start walking. 
and see what happens. You know, and that's when I got to see the acacia, the new acacia stuff, the uh, dark forest, which now is just a, uh, you know, everybody's seen it. You no, know, it's. You know, it's not a not a new thing. Yep. If I don't die, pretty soon and there's future. You know, this lasts for quite a while, and there's future updates to have. You know, to have a uh, terrain generation changes. This is gonna be a cool place to explore that. See how often it pops up. We've had one Mesa bomb show up in 60,000. So that makes it not exactly the not exactly the most common. We've had a jungle bomb, didn't we? I think we did, didn't we? Seems like we did. I can't remember for sure though. I can't remember absolutely for sure. But we do have a flower forest here. And a cave, which I can't go into. I will never know what's down that cave. <laughs> Can you tell it's killing me? I can't go into the caves. Why caves? Why? So, what? I guess here's a thing I can talk about some. Uh, all, the, all these all these sexy caves that I can't go into. Huh. Four hives, the sugar cane. I guess there's something I can talk about some while, I, while we walk. You know, I guess I can talk about what I've been playing. Oh, 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 oh crap. Oh crap. Up, 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 Okay. Let's talk about drowning. Drowning, bad. End of topic. I've been playing this game called Deponia. I guess I can... I guess I can talk about games. You know, I don't... I don't... I play... I try to play more games than... Than, you know, just what's goes up on the channel. Uh... They have this. Uh, I, I like point-and-click adventures. So they ha there's this trilogy of games called Deponia that on Steam that was on sale last week sometime. So I was like, yeah, why not? I'll get them. Pretty good games, actually. Uh, I say games. I'm I'm still fairly early in part one but it's it's really good uh or it's good i don't i don't i probably shouldn't say really good but i have laughed i've enjoyed myself quite well playing it you know i definitely definitely like the humor of it the puzzles are kind of random or it feels that way a little bit and what they choose just a little bit but it's kind of explained you know when you actually do the action which this explains nothing uh, uh, let's say you need two you need a pair of socks and you got two socks but they don't match so what do you do well you find a pot then you put water in this pot you put it on a stove you boil it up then you put use really strong detergent and uh, oh I'm kind of giving a well this is early this is early stuff you know then you use that you put that detergent in there and you put the socks in there and you then you use a fork to get the socks out 
and they've pretty much been bleached to where they match. That kind of thing, you know. You wouldn't think, you know, you know, it's silly, but you know, when you try, you have to try everything, you know, and it kind of, kind of works, you know. I kind of like that sort, you know. I kind of like that thing. I mean, that's how I play point and click adventures anyway. I just try everything until something works. So that's how I do it anyway. Play the Sam and Max games. Uh, at least season one and two. Really enjoyed those. Love the humor and the story of those. If a game can make me laugh, I'm 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 a pretty good fan of it. <laughs> Now, I like games that have a good narrative, you know. You know, like those right there. This game, the narrative doesn't involve me getting shot in the butt, though. So, I'm going to keep running. Oh, yeah, we're past, well past 60,000. Uh, 60, that's a bad place. Seven Max games. I thought about playing on the channel, but I don't know. That that is something I've thought about streaming too. You know, since I do like them. But then again, if you stream them, and also when you you know, I guess having them you know on YouTube also, you have to worry about spoilers. It's something I've been pretty lucky about with my visual novels. No spoilers. Have, you know, have been revealed, you know. Daniel Dawson, the, the gentleman who uh, watches on the in comments, you know, very often, he... Uh, he knows, you know, just how to do it to where, you know, it doesn't give anything away. So that that is good. Oh crap! What the? Man, he was moving. He he went. He, he got angry right there. He, I'm guessing it was lag. <laughs> Yeah, that's something I've been pretty lucky about. Not getting any spoilers given to me. And that'd be something I'd be worried about, especially if I haven't played it. And to be honest, let's plays where there's a narrative involved. A lot of times are probably better played blind. You know, I, or I think so. You know, you, you kind of want to see the the reaction of it, you know, as you see it, you know, as, or as, I should say, as they, you know, as the player sees it, you want to see that from them. Something funny, you want to see how they react naturally to the, to the joke in the game. It's sad, you want to see, you know, natural. You know, do they cry? <laughs> So, that's why stuff like that I think is, whoa, crap. Oh, he didn't know I was there. Experiencing a bit of lag. Guess that's what happens when you're far away from spawn. When you're far away from spawn and far away from home, you get lag. See if it's anything I can change on here. I'm probably going to change much. I highly doubt it.
We can see. Especially games with, with very, you know, deep narrative. Where, uh, especially maybe surprises where you don't, where there's really no way to predict, you know, what's going to happen. Uh, they're very good. Uh, I've watched Paul's, on Paul's, play uh, the, uh, blah, blah, blah. The four high one, that's weird. What is that? Oh, what is that game? Ah, oh, it's by Telltale. The same people who did Sam and Max. Or the new ones. Ah. Oh. Something about Wolf. The Wolf. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's about fairy tale creatures. And there's. Wolf, you know he's the big bad wolf, Big B, and ah, oh, what is the name of that? Ah, oh, I can't think of it. Ah, oh, good grief! Oh. I can't think of the name of it. Dang it! But I have watched him play that, the first two episodes. He very recently started on the third one. I uh, haven't had a chance to watch any of those episodes. I will be watching those. I might just. Wait till he's done and then binge on him on a day that I have off or something like that. But uh, they're they're very good. This you know they're they're very fun. You know and it's fun to see him react and try to think think his way through. Oh, don't lag. Oh. You shot me in the butt. How rude. How rude of you. Whoa. Why well, fell that jump? Because of the lag. You know, not. You know, forget BTC. BTL. Blame the lag. And for the, and for the dyslexic folks, they can call it. BLT! <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty lame joke. Another game I've played some of. And... and it's a little bit more addictive than I would think. This game called a Dungeon Hearts. Bought it on Steam. It's actually pretty cheap. I think I bought it for dollar fifty, maybe a dollar, maybe a dollar and a quarter. It's kind of like a puzzle type game, sorta. Of. Kind of a match three gems together, sort of, sort of deal. Ooh, let's. Let's go around here. Oh crap, does she see me? Don't see me. Look the other way. That game's actually been pretty fun. I'll play it every now and then just to just to you know this is kind of a mind blankener. A mind blanket. <laughs> Keep your mind warm. Well, Actually, that's, that's completely different from blanking it out. <laughs> I don't know. I say that, but I kind of think a, I think a lot when I play games like that. Just They kind of, you know, just... Oh, thanks, cows. It is day 18 now. End of the episode. So, uh... Yeah. Play those games when I like to think a lot, or don't want to think at all. But as a cow just said, it is the end of the episode, so I do hope you folks enjoyed. And I 
shall see you in the next one. Farewell there, folks.